Hi uh, guys, West Country Explorer here. Now uh, I've come up to Andover today on the train and I'm currently making my way to an Aldi store which is a bit out of town on the way to Wayhill. And the reason I'm coming here is because a few years back an Aldi store was being constructed and where sort of the car park is it was discovered that there was a what turned out to be an Anglo-Saxon punishment cemetery so it's a cemetery that was specifically used for sort of burying criminals sort of people who sort of weren't allowed to be buried in sort of normal church cemeteries and it kind of caught my interest because I mean I love a bit of history and all the rest and learning about this cemetery Anglo-Saxon cemetery I thought it's kind of amazing to sort of think what's under our feet and we might not necessarily know about it. I mean, people go into this Aldi store and park up in the car park, they wouldn't know that it, it's the site of what was a Anglo-Saxon punishment cemetery. So I'm going to be doing a bit of a video on it. I'm going out to do a bit of on-site recording show you the site and also what I'm also going to be doing is just telling you a bit of the history of the punishment cemetery and all the rest so yeah hopefully you guys find it interesting I mean I know I certainly find this kind of thing interesting bit of history and all the rest so yeah all good fun well so this is where the punishment cemetery would have been as you can see it's now an old east car park now there are a couple of Anglo-Saxon communal cemeteries nearby. Um, Portway East, which would have been in use from the late 5th to the 6th century. And then its successor, Portway West, which was in use in the 7th to 8th century. Well, I said this punishment cemetery where sort of like criminals and that would have been buried. It had quite a long use. I think the earliest positively dated burial would have been the mid-Saxon period, sort of 650 to 850 AD. I think the latest burial would have been about the 13th, 14th century. So yeah, anyone coming to Aldi's car park you wouldn't know that it was a it used to be a cemetery here. Now it is close to a, an old Roman road that ran from Silchester down to Old Sarum, and also up up in that direction you've got part of the Harrow Way. I think it's the Harrow Way that it runs up near there. So yeah, there's a lot of lot of history here and all the rest like I said two other communal cemeteries and that what I'll do is I'll um, see if I can get some like screenshots of like old maps of the area to give you an idea of what it would have looked like a like a little century or two back and all the rest oh. while I'm at home having a bit of a quiet day at home I thought I'd use my laptop to help give you all a bit of an idea of where these two anglo-saxon community communal cemeteries are in relation to the anglo-norman punishment cemetery so what i'm going to do guys is i'm just going to twiddle you around a second all right there we go all right so I've got my map set my laptop set up a bit so as you can see this is andover area it's Andover. Ooh, if I twizzle over, so there's Andover, and sort of just over here is Way Hill. Oh, if I oh, I'll zoom in a bit. All right, there we go. I'm trying to do this while I've got my phone in front of me. Right, so uh, where where's it gone to? So. There's 
the Aldi car park. That's where the Anglo Norman like punishment cemetery would have been. Now what I'll do is if I pull that across there. So this is a map from the 1890s. So this is what the area would have looked like sort of hundred and what? 130 odd years ago, crumpets. Yeah, that means the 1990s were 30 odd years ago. I'm starting to feel old. <laughs> yeah, so now uh, this line here, if I zoom out a bit, oh, come on. Right. So, as you can see, this is the port, that line there, that diagonal line, that support way between Old Sarum and Silchester. You've got the Harrow Way there, look, see you guys? That one running there. So, if I zoom back to this way, oh, come on. So, there, like I said, the Port Way would be sort of running, so can you don't know how well you can still see Harrow. So, there's the, that would be like the Port Way. Just like through housing estate now. And up here going across, there's the there's the Harrow Way, sort of through a bit of an industrial estate now. So if I what I'll do is if I go back to this old map. Oh come on, focus camera. If I go over here, where was it? Where would it have been? Hang on a minute, get me bearings if I zoom back out a second, guys. So, round about this area where the arrow is, the cursor, that would have been where Portway East Cemetery was. Like I said, that started round about the fifth, late fifth century. And it was in the east till the sixth century, so that's going to be sort of where that building is now. And um, Portway East Cemetery, there was a few, a few current criminals were buried in that cemetery. So at that point, sort of criminals and non-criminals were sort of being buried in the same places. I think it was around about the 6th century that criminals started to be buried in their own cemetery, like punishment cemeteries. So if we go over here, now this is where Portway West Cemetery was. Now it was around about there, around about there Portway West Cemetery was. Now, by that time, criminals were being buried in their own punishment cemetery, so there weren't any sort of criminals buried in Portway West Cemetery that we know of. If I zoom back out, oh, come on. So, Portway West Cemetery is sort of roughly round about where those buildings are, so... Yeah, so if I can zoom out a bit. Right, so what we're looking at is sort of over here, we've got sort of Portway East Cemetery, over here, Portway West Cemetery, and then sort of down there, the Punishment Cemetery, the Execution Cemetery. Oh, it was eight weeks ago that I first came to Andover and did a little bit of recording at the site of the old Anglo-Norman Punishment Cemetery. And yeah, I thought it's a bit overdue for a visit back to Andover. So what I'm doing on this visit is I'm going to show you the sort of site where the Portway East 
angle out so much we would have been and then I'm going to go over to where the old Portway West Anglo-Saxon cemetery would have been. So just doing a bit of on-site recordings, showing you what's there now. All right, so these buildings over here, well, that's roughly where the Portway East Anglo-Saxon cemetery would have been. And that was the first of the two cemeteries that would have been in use about the 5th, 6th century. So just over there a bit, sort of running diagonally from sort of left down to right would have been the Portway Roman Road. So just, yeah, so just down there a bit is the Anglo-Norman Punishment Cemetery. And then just up there Sort of running roughly in that direction you've got the harrow way so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make my way up to the harrow way and i'm going to go off in that direction a bit to the portway west cemetery site all right so i'm now walking along a part of what was the harrow way when the harrow way was being used you wouldn't have got lorries on it <laughs> so yeah um, anyway yeah slight aside um yeah so i'm on the harrow way now cotswold archaeology society group they're the archaeologists that back in 2016 sort of did the archaeological dig on the anglo-norman punishment cemetery sort of just before Aldi sort of took over the use of the site. Now a few weeks back, Cotswold Archaeology did a webinar talking about the dig and the finds and all the rest. And they put the they put that webinar up on their YouTube video on their YouTube channel. So they've got a video up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link to their video into the dis this description it's about an hour hour and a half long something like that but honestly guys it is a very interesting very informative very well put together webinar like youtube video uh, if you're into archaeology and like anglo-norman punishment cemeteries anglo-saxon cemeteries that kind of thing I highly recommend watching it. Grab yourself a cuppa, sit down and enjoy. Like I said, it's about an hour, hour and a half, so your initial thoughts might be crumpets, that's a long video, but because it's so interesting and informative, it doesn't feel like it's an hour, hour and a half long. Yeah, so guys, I definitely recommend you click on the link and go watch their video because it is so much more informative than any information I could give you. So <laughs> I'm going to let them do the work of being informative about the Anglo-Norman Punishment Cemetery. So there, guys, watch it. Go on. You know you want to. Right, so I've just come along this bit of the Harrow Way. And it carries on there, sort of west, the westwards in the, out into the countryside. We've got a little crossroads of footpaths here. I'm going to go down this one because this will take me to roughly where the Portway West Anglo Saxon Cemetery was. Like well, I said, guys, it's a beautiful day. Very nice. Good for being out in the countryside, exploring the footpaths and all the rest. Right, it's roughly around here somewhere that the Portway West Anglo-Saxon Cemetery would have been. There's a little bit of an industrial unit over there as well. Uh, the Portway West site, that would have been about the 7th 
8th century. Might have possibly been into the 9th century as well, can't quite remember. Well, I say it's roughly around here where the Portway West site was. Uh, all three sites, the East Portway East site, this site, and the Anglo-Norman Punishment Cemetery, you if you didn't know they were here there was no there's not really any way of you accidentally discovering they were here there's absolutely no indication whatsoever that these are the sites of anglo-saxon cemeteries or anything like that so yeah it's just sort of strange to think that there's this history hidden under our feet and we could so easily not know about it not know about it at all it's like it's not the kind of history you could sort of accidentally discover just by walking along. It's not like there's a blue plaque or anything like that, or an like a information board telling you about it. So it's yeah. So I'm back at Aldi, where I started the site of the Anglo-Norman Punishment Cemetery. Now, as I was walking from the Portway West site to here, I thought. I'll have a little look, do a little comparison on like population sizes between then and now. Of course, now the Punishment Cemetery was in use for quite a long period of time. And it was definitely in use in the 9th century, so I picked the 9th century to do a new kind of population comparison. And for the UK, it's estimated that in the 9th century the population would have been about half a million to one million people but nowadays the UK population's nearly it's about 67 million so nearly 70 million people uh, the global population in the 9th century is estimated to be about 220 million people Whereas nowadays the global population is about 8 billion people. So, yeah, big differences. So, UK in the 9th century, not as vastly populated as it is nowadays. So, yeah. But anyway, like I said, the site of the Anglo Norman Punishment Cemetery at Aldi. You wouldn't know it to look at it. Well, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this little video and all the rest. It's been quite nice getting out and about exploring, seeing something a bit different for me. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into Vandover, get myself a bit of lunch, and then I'm going to do the Andover Heritage Trail. So thank you for watching. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. And in the meantime, the usual, stay safe, take care, God bless.